What's up guys, welcome back to another penny stock video. This time we got a pretty special one. We do have Bill Gates. They will be buying this penny stock company, which is very interesting. If you guys don't know, Cascade Investment Group is managed and founded by Bill Gates himself. And he is gonna be buying a business in the airline industry. Yes, you heard that right. Bill Gates right now is very interested in this private jet airline business. It's not a regular airline business, it's private jets, mostly for like pretty rich people. It's pretty surprising if you look at the statistics, and there's a few reasons why Bill Gates is going in pretty heavily on this private jet airline company. It's a British company, by the way. Before we dive any deeper, definitely check out the Discord server. In the description below, more than 25,000 members, and it's completely free to join. There's also a Patreon link below. And by the way, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and I do not own any shares of this company right here, which is BBAVF. And we will get into this stock and what's going on, why Bill Gates seems to like it so much. Right now, Bill Gates is joining Blackstone. They're bidding to be buying this British private jet firm, and they seem to really like it. And Cascade and Blackstone right now are offering a lot of money to buy Signature. This is a private jet company. This is Signature Aviation, and these guys have a ton of private jets flying around. They have several different locations in five different continents and like 5,300 employees. And they cater to people who just simply want to have a good airline experience. They cater to rich people. These are private jets, guys. It's very luxurious. And obviously, private jets right now are on the rise. Bill Gates is joining up with Blackstone, who actually makes some pretty risky bets. And Blackstone is probably one of the better Wall Street firms out there. So Cascade, which is you know managed by Bill Gates, and Blackstone are offering a lot of money to get Signature Aviation. There's currently now a pretty big bidding war. And guess what? Bill Gates and Blackstone, they will be offering roughly $4.3 billion for Signature Aviation. And they seem to really like it, and they're still giving out an offer. I know the article was written back in January 8th, but at this current moment, there's still a lot of news about Bill Gates and also Signature Aviation. They have not backed away from this bid and Bill Gates is really loving private jets right now. They really, really want to be acquiring Signature Aviation. Currently, the share price is doing pretty decent. It's $5.50. Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the stock, you can't really find it on Weeble. You can't really find it on Robinhood. You have to use a big boy brokerage account. For example, TD Ameritrade, Char Swap, E-Trade. So Weeble and Robinhood will not cut it. On Weeble, you can see the stock, but you can't actually touch it, which is a big bummer. Bill Gates is liking private jets because the private jet industry is somewhat profitable. They make pretty good business, and there's more and more rich people in the world that are coming up. And ever since this pandemic, a lot of people who even have just a little bit of money actually prefer private jets. It's cleaner, there's less people, you have a less of a chance of catching the pandemic, and obviously some people just you know value their health a lot and if you have a bunch of money why not book a private jet instead of first class on american airlines and so far if you check out this they are trying to take it over offering at least five dollars and 17 cents a share 4.3 billion dollars and what's super important is blackstone is renowned for bold bets and the private jet activity was down only 11 percent in december the global airline passenger traffic went down 66%. Even though you do have the majority of airlines during the pandemic shutting down and burning a lot of cash, the private jet industry was doing okay. Yes, it's down 11%, but 11% is way better than a whopping 66%. This is why they really seem to want it. And it's also kind of weird. I'm, it's also kind of weird. Usually you don't really see Bill Gates and also Cascade Blackstone buying a private jet business. But at this current moment, there's a lot of talk about how Bombardier, who makes the Learjet 75s, they are very optimistic about upcoming sales. Actually, more people are purchasing private jets and stuff like that, especially like this 0% financing thing. You got a lot of individuals out there trying to finance jets. You have a lot more companies coming up. Some companies right now who never even thought of booking private jets are simply booking it right now. Signature Aviation is most likely to be increasing more and more revenue. If you check out the share prices recently, these guys did go down around March 30th, 2020, but now they're all the way up 210% from the very bottom. If you check out American Airlines from the very bottom to the very top, it's only 62%. 
United Airlines from the very bottom to now it's 100%. Whereas this private jet company, even though they're pretty small, it looks like a massive increase of like 200%. It's pretty big. This is why Bill Gates is betting pretty heavily on this private jet service. Because during this pandemic, people will feel like, okay, maybe we should probably go something more safer. Maybe we shouldn't be booking United Airlines or American Airlines. Maybe not one of those massive jet airliners. Let's book something a lot smaller like Signature Aviation. They manage 1.6 million private jet flights roughly per year, and they are growing more than ever before. I think the love for private jets and also jet bookings have went up because of this pandemic. This is why Cascade Investment Group is trying to get this company on board, and they may actually be able to turn this around. I know it's kind of weird that a lot of these multi-billionaires are buying private jet companies, but I kind of see the reason why. And it's not just Blackstone and Cascade trying to buy this. You have other investment firms trying to bid it. Currently, there's a massive signature aviation bid. Everyone seems to want a piece of this company and everyone's trying to buy in. And because they control so many private jets around the world and so many different bookings and they operate internationally and across several different countries, how do I feel about this? I think the airline business, they don't really grow that much. I mean, if they go up to a pretty high price and the company does really well, it usually just stagnates. Private jet companies and just airline companies aren't really like EVs or software companies where they just keep going up and up. I mean, airlines, you gotta keep having good revenue. Anything that's super catastrophic will absolutely plummet your shares. But I feel like short-term investment, if you guys like what Bill Gates and all the other guys are doing, trying to bid for Sanctuary Aviation, Maybe this could be a decent medium term play, but I'm not super sure about it. Hey, if Bill Gates really is liking this British private jet services firm, then maybe something is up. Maybe Cascade Investment Group knows something that the average retail trader does not. But it's very surprising to see Bill Gates and also Cascade Investment Group, even through these few weeks, of bidding, they're still at it. They haven't quit. They really want Signature Aviation, which is a pretty big deal. And by the way, $4.3 billion is not a small chunk of money. This is a lot of money and they're very serious. They want to buy a lot of shares and they really want to own this company. And Gates right now is super keen on private jets. I get why. They are growing popularity. Even Bombardier, who makes the Lear jets, they are struggling. They have got a bunch of canceled sales but they're still very optimistic about incoming future sales. That just shows you what's up. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Definitely check out this stock. It is a little bit wacky, but it's just a fun little video to talk about. And by the way, this video is obviously for entertainment purposes only, and I do not own any shares of this company. And by the way, check out the Discord server. You won't regret it. It's completely free. It's pretty crazy and wild there.